Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to yoga. Welcome, welcome. It's a hot summer day. I hope you can hear the fan. It's loud in here, but I've, I've been told that it's not too, um, too loud. So I'm hoping that remains the case. But I need it. Um, we're going to start with a bit of a dynamic warm up, and then we're going to spend the most of the rest of the time stretching. Um, probably do some core and uh, leg work and glute work in there somewhere. Um, maybe not at the end. Maybe we'll, we'll work our way to stretching. But I think on a hot day, we don't need to do a lot of power, but I do like the idea of a dynamic warm up so um, we can get the full body kind of heated and fluid and then we can go into some deeper stretches. So just to start, let's just take, um, let's just take a few breaths where we inhale, sweeping the arms up and then exhale, sweeping the arms out and down. Let's, let's go slow. So this is the breath that we do at the beginning of class. To bring ourselves here to our mats, to our practice, and to our bodies and to our breath. So it's a really simple movement. Nice and slow, reach out and up on the inhale. Through the nose, and a slow, reach out and down on the exhale. And just continue that mapping the movement of the body over the movement of the breaths. As soon as that exhale ends, the inhale begins. And as soon as you get to the top of your inhale, the exhale begins. Soft knees, or you can do this with the eyes closed. As you start to get into your practice, you can bend the knees over the toes as you exhale, and then come back up to long legs on the inhale. So you're just giving yourself a little calf stretch as you bend the knees over the toes. You don't lift the heels off the floor. You just Press those heels into the floor as you sweep the arms down and exhale. And then as you continue, you can actually start to round the shoulders forward slightly on that at the end of the exhale. So the knees bend over the toes and then the shoulders round forward, which then activates the middle back and even the lower back. And you can really drop the chin to the chest. And we're just slowly kind of acclimating to our body, to the breath, to our leg, this beautiful leg that we have when we reach up, and then this grounded, rooted feeling here in the spine, when the spine is rounded. And then you can even add a nice contraction with the belly button reaching towards the spine and the lower back and the pelvis kind of tilting. So really start to add that dynamic stretch at the bottom of the exhale here. And then we can add a little arch on our inhale. So we can even look up and past the top of our head. And as we continue, the leg bend can get deeper, the arch can get deeper, and we can even start to maybe reach the fingertips to the floor. And rounding that back, and then really arching. I'm going to turn so you can see the curve of the spine and the arch of the inhale and the reach up. It's pretty full body. 
tight glutes. Last time, all the way down. All the way up. And release those arms. Good. Similarly, we're going to take a wide stance. We're going to shift the weight over onto the right leg and reach the left arm across as we do a little spinal twist here. We're going to inhale, bringing the arms up and straightening that leg. And then exhale, reaching to the other side for a, a spinal twist on the other side. Left leg is bent, weight is back. So inhale, arms rainbow over. Exhale, little twist and stretch. In, out, in, out. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Now you match the rhythm of the breath with the movement and your movement might be slower than mine. It also might be faster than mine. And you may want to push your breath a little bit. You get a little bit more of that dynamic warm up. Really look back behind you each time you reach across the body. That makes you dizzy. Just keep your eyes forward. You can even do this just not looking down, looking straight. Good, I will meet you over on the right side. Let's stay here for a minute. And then go ahead and straighten that right leg, but keep the twist. And bend the right leg and straighten and bend. And straighten and then come on up, swing that arm down and bring your hands into prayer. And we're just going to shift, keeping that same level side to side. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. See if you can get a little lower and stay on one level as you shift side to side. Pumping those quads, holding the spine with your core. And we'll shift over to the left, place that head down, twist, look up, and then straighten the leg. And bend the left leg, and straighten it, bend, straighten. Then bring the torso up, hands come to prayer, and side to side. Keep it low. One, two, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, and come up. Bring those heels in. Take the drop the pelvis straight down, and we're just going to hold here to goddess. And if you want, you can do a little pulse down. One, two, three. And rest and come up. Good. Heel toe, heel toe your way into a nice parallel position underneath your hips. So we're going to do a kind of yoga squat. We're going to move into chair. With arms up by our ears, and then we're going to just come up to mountain. So we have you can match your breath with your movement. Maybe you inhale as you stand, exhale as you come down, or maybe you inhale as you come down, exhale as you come up. Find what works for you. Not everyone has the same. Movement and breath 
uh, relationships. <laughs> See if you can really get that booty back and the forearms. No, the forearms. No, the biceps are up by the ears. Every time, long arms. And see if you can really sink that booty back and down. Three more. Excellent. Got to run that on. Okay. Um, staying with this, and we're going to step back with our right leg from mountain into a crescent. So find your crescent here. Maybe take a few minutes to just stretch the back of the knee, get the chest lifted, shoulders dropped. And then bring your torso up, keep the arms straight. We're just gonna tap that back knee on the floor and come right up. Five of these, tap, come back to crescent. We're not, you can do it with an arch, but I find it a little bit harder to balance when I'm looking up. So, I'm trying it with kind of more of a warrior one arms and torso. And I think that works really nicely. I like having the heel up and that really helps with that knee tap. Step back to mountain, take a deep breath, roll the shoulders back a few times. and step back with the left leg. Now, when you're in crescent, you're not walking on a tightrope, which means your leg, your back leg is not behind your front leg. There's space. Almost like you have one foot on one side of the ladder and the other foot on the other side of the ladder. Find your crescent. Bring your torso forward slightly so you're not in the arch position and we'll just tap that knee down and then stretch that back of the knee five times. You can see in this dynamic warm up, we get hot and sweaty pretty quick. I need my sweat mat. I think that's why I'll do one more for good measure and come back roll those shoulders back good all right one more set of these so we're going to be moving forward and backwards so you want to set yourself up in the middle of your mat, so you're not going to hit the wall. <laughs> so what we're going to do here, um, we're going to step forward with the right leg. We can actually let that knee kind of hover and then come back to mountain. And then we're going to step back with the right leg letting the knee hover above the ground and then forward. And then we'll switch legs. So we step forward. You can tap the knee or just let it kind of hover above the ground. And then we step back and let the knee hover or tap the ground and come back. Let's do two more sets. So we have right, stepping forward, mountain, Right, stepping back and mountain. Left, stepping forward, mountain. Left, stepping back and mountain. That's pretty activating. I'd love to do another set of three. 
I would recommend getting some water. Then we'll do another set. Now with breath, always one movement, one breath. Either it's in or it's out. Find the rhythm that works for you. I like inhaling as I step, either forward or back, and exhaling as I return to mountain. So inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, left leg, inhale, exhale, inhale, right leg. Really want the knee right over the toe each time you step forward or back. Well, the knee can't be over the toe there, but <laughs> on the step forward. And last one. All right, shake that out. Let's just get off those legs for a minute. And we'll just do a little bit of arm work. So bring those hands to cactus. We're going to close the elbows and open. Inhale as you open. Exhale as you close. Belly's lifted. Good. Take those arms out. Let's make, let's trace a speed. So pinkies forward, and then the back of the hand forward. Trace the letter C. Pinky forward, back of the hand, and just keep going back. Inhale, exhale. Inhale. So you're really getting that full rotation. You can feel that joint in the shoulder working. And the wrist and the elbow. Good. Take the hands and interlace them behind the head. Take the hands to the right, to the back of the right ear. Trace the circle up and down on the other side behind your head. Up and behind your head. Inhale and exhale. This is really good to the shoulder. Try the other direction. Left, up, right, down. Inhale as you go up. Exhale as you go down. Two more. Good. Take the arms out. Let's just tap those shoulders. Keep the elbows lifted. Now we have been working on these arms for a little bit, a few minutes. So you should start to feel a little bit of tiredness. That's where we want to be. We want to be in that zone where it's not painful, but we feel challenged. Good. Take the hands on the shoulders, bring the elbows forward, tap, and then open and look up. Forward, tap, open, look up. Send those elbows back behind you, almost like you're trying to point them to the wall behind you. And you're really stretching the space between the scapula. And good. Take those arms out. And we're just going to do 10 circles forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and ten back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right. Still with our dynamic warm up, we're going to start the back of our mat. We're going to roll down vertebrae by vertebrae, slowly coming all the way down. 
through into a forward fold. Do this with me. Shake it out when you're in forward fold. Maybe wag your tail a little bit. Shake that head out. Maybe do a little bounce if that feels good. Coming all the way down, taking weight into the hands. Walking the hands forward into plank. Now you can stay in plank and do a push-up. You can put your knees down and do a push-up, or you can just stay in plank. And then walk the hands back to that curved position, and then roll to standing. So this is a full body exercise. Try it again. Inhale. Exhale. Vertebrae by vertebrae, cutting down in the forward fold. All the way forward into your nice crouch position. Inhale as you walk the hands out. Stay in plank. Drop the knees or do a push up. Walk the hands back to the feet. Find your curve and then roll through to stand. We're going to do that one more time. Inhale. Exhale, roll. Inhale, coming down. Exhale, just release here. Uh, inhale, walking out to plank. Stay here, do your push up with knees or without knees. Walk the hands back, send the heels to the floor, and roll to standing. Beautiful. Let's just take a nice deep breath in. Look up. Exhale, dive through. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, release forward. And walk those hands out to down dog. And just hang here for a down dog. Do what you need to do. Stretch the heels one at a time. Baby, move the pelvis ground. Find yourself in down dog. Three breaths in down dog. Good. On the next inhale, lift the right leg up. And then exhale, swing it through into a runner's lunge. Just rock and roll here a little bit forward and back. So you're stretching that calf when you press the heel back. Go ahead and take the right arm up. The left arm is flat on the mat. What we're going to do here is bring the hand to the head. And on the exhale, we're going to bring the elbow across and down, trying to touch our belly with the elbow. And then we're going to inhale and come back up to that twist. Elbow is reaching towards the ceiling. Exhale, down. Inhale, open and twist. Look at the ceiling. Exhale, down. Inhale, open. And last one, in, exhale, and inhale. Good. Go ahead and put that hand down and that knee down. Untuck the toe. Walk your way up to hands on the thigh. Just luxuriate here for a minute. And then when you're ready, take the arms up. Feel that delicious stretch of the front of that thigh, the psoas muscle there. If you want, you can take your hands to your booty, elbows back. And then when you're ready, hands to the mat, send the pelvis back, flex the front foot, and just kind of rotate the leg in the joint. Should feel good, turning the toes to the left and to the right. 
and then bring the right hand to the inside of that foot. Bring that leg around. Come into all fours, and we're just going to do a nice cat cow here before we do the other side. Inhale, arch the up. Exhale, round look down. Tap those toes. Come into down dog. Three breaths in down dog. On the next inhale, send the left leg up in the air. And exhale, swing it through, rock and roll here, stretching that calf when you send the heel back. Taking the left arm up, give yourself a spinal twist, reach that hand up towards the ceiling. Oh, my spine just snap, crackle, popped all the way up. Take the hand to the head. Exhale, bring that elbow across and try to touch your belly with it. And then inhale and open up into that twist, elbow reaching towards the ceiling. Exhale, tuck. Inhale, twist and open. Exhale, tuck. Inhale, twist and open. And exhale, tuck. Inhale, twist and open, hand to the floor, drop the knee and tuck the toe, walk yourself up, inhale. Yogi's choice on where you want to put your arms, you can have them behind your head with an inverted prayer. You can have them resting at the top of your glutes, elbows back. And you can always just keep them with the arms up. Hands come to the mat and send the pelvis back. Flex that front foot and rotate that leg in the joint, moving the toes left and right. Hands come to the inside of that leg, swing that leg around, come into all fours, and let's just do prayer into up dog. Prayer and up dog, nice and easy. Meet you in prayer. Just relax. Take your hands over to the right. Stretch that left side body. And walk your hands over to the left. And come center. Good. Let's place our forearms on the mat and we're going to tuck our toes. We're going to come into dolphin, which is basically like down dog, but instead of on our hands, we're on our forearms. Press out of the elbows and out of the shoulders. Breathe here. Good, and drop those knees. All right, find a comfortable position. I'm gonna be on my knees. We're gonna do our Kamenayama, 20 breaths. Reestablish our connection with our life force. Inhale, sweeping the arms up. Looking up, exhale, coming through heart center whenever you're ready. 
20 breaths begin. Three more. Last one. Interlace the fingers in a way that doesn't feel natural. Send the, the palms to the ceiling. And let's just take a couple of stretches from left to right. Inhale and then exhale into the stretch. Inhale, exhale. You can even push the hips a little to the left and to the right as you stretch away. And walk those shoulders up the ladder and release. Good. Coming back onto our, our we're gonna actually do a one arm, uh, forearm side plank. So we're going to have our left forearm on the mat. Our top leg is in front and our bottom leg is behind. So what we're going to do here is we have our hands on our hips. We're going to inhale. On the exhale, we lift the pelvis off the ground, and then we take the arm up and look at that arm. Breathe here. And release when you're ready. Give yourself a little break. Bring those knees in. Come into mermaid and do a little twist. Right and left. Go back down and do the same side one more time. The left forearm comes down. Now, if you want to challenge yourself, you can stack the feet on top of each other. Hand comes to the waist, press the pelvis off the floor, then release the arm. Look up. This one is much more challenging. It's much more of a balancing Pose, you can wobble, and that's a good thing. Wobbling is always good when you're ready. Come down gently, bring those knees in, and just twist it out in mermaid position. Gentle flow, right and left. Good. Take those legs, flip them forward and around, and we'll do the other side. Right forearm to the mat. Top leg in front of the bottom leg. Hand comes to the waist. Inhale, press the pelvis off the mat and look up. Breathe slow and luscious breathing. Come down gently and slowly. Bring those knees in. The bottom leg comes in front, closer to the rib cage. Little twist. This is really good for the hips. I can already feel in my left hip. Some movement going on. You can kind of get in touch with your aerial here. Your mermaid archetype. Coming back down onto that right forearm. This time, if you want to stack the feet, go ahead. If you want to keep it the way you were, no problem. 
hand comes to the waist, hips come up, Woo! and look up. See if you can get the hips a little higher. Breathe. Second time is always a little bit more challenging because we're tired. When you're ready, bring that hand down. Bring the knees in. Slow. Side to side. Like you're tracing water. Like you're tracing your fingertips on the top of water. And release. Grab some water. All right. Moving right along. I want to do, I want to stay in this side position a little bit longer. We're going to do some core work. I'm on my left forearm. My legs are extended. I'm going to bring my legs in, my knees into my chest, and then I'm going to scissor the top leg in front and the bottom leg behind me. Crunch and then scissor. Knees come to the chest, my hand is on my head. And then I extend the legs, the top leg is in front and the bottom leg is behind. Crunch, extend. So we're never touching those, those legs on the floor. Now, another option is to just crunch and then tap the toes on the floor and then crunch and tap the toes on the floor. So try the scissor version. And if that gets too much after a two or three, go to the toe tapping version. So exhale on the crunch. Inhale as you extend the legs to scissor. Two more. It's a little hard, harder with the top leg going forward, but I like it. All right, go ahead and swing those legs forward and around. Coming on to the right forearm. Legs are extended, hand is on the head. Inhale, exhale, crunch, knees to chest. Inhale, top leg forward. I'm flexing my feet also. Extend. Try to keep this shoulder away from the ear. Five from here. Four, three, two, and one. Good. Go ahead and roll over onto your back. Take your the detail out. <clears throat> We're going to inhale. The hands are going to be in prayer and our, our temple. We're going to inhale here. On the exhale, our feet are flat on the ground. We're going to come up, send the prayer through the legs, and then come back down slowly, fingertips to temple. Inhale, exhale, reach. Inhale, Exhale, reach. Like you're shooting an arrow between your legs. Nice and slow on the descent. Nice and controlled on the ascent. Keep going. We should do about 10, so maybe even two more. Let's 
slow and controlled and mindful with the breaths. Good. Coming up to sitting, take your hands just for a second to the floor. Lean back so that you're in that kind of diagonal position with your torso. You don't want to be sitting on top of your sits bones. You want to engage your core. So in that diagonal lean, what we're going to do is we're going to have our hands here gently on our fingertips. We're going to tap the left ankle over the right, open, right ankle over the left, and open. Now, if you want an added challenge, you take your hands off the floor and you tap, cross, tap, cross, tap, cross. You can even take the arms up if you want as you continue to tap, cross, or you can bring those hands back to the floor. I just want you to keep that diagonal torso. Try testing your balance. Can you do it with your hands in prayer? Can you do it with your arms up? Keep tapping and crossing, and then finish with the hand on the floor. Stretch those legs out, walk your hands up to sitting, and just give yourself a nice stretch forward. Release that lower back. Way side to side. And recover. All right. Putting down onto our backs with our legs up in the air. Hands are flat down on the, on the mat. Palms down. We're going to inhale here. On the exhale, we're going to lift the booty off the floor. And then we're going to inhale and lower the legs and then exhale and lift. Now, you don't, how far you lower the legs is up to you. If your knees are bent, it's up to you. Yeah, you can do this whole thing with the knees bent. Lift the booty up, tap the toe. I'm going to do it with straight legs. It's yogi's choice. You always know best what's right for you. Yeah? Shake it out. And let's begin. Inhale. Booties up. Inhale, lower the legs. Exhale, come up. Inhale, booties up. Inhale, lower the legs. Exhale, lift. Inhale, booties up. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, booties up. Oh. On the exhale, I want you to lift that booty off the floor. Last one right here. And lower and lift. Hug those knees into the chest and just circle them around to the right. And to the left. Good. Planting those feet on the mat. What I'd like to do is lift the right leg off the ground and inhale here. I thought my leg is just bent. On the exhale, I'm going to press the pelvis off the ground into a one legged bridge. And then I'm going to inhale and lower. And we're going to do this five times on this leg. Here we go. I think that was five. I'm so bad with my counting. Try the other side. Inhale. Exhale. Press. This is our practice. You want to get that booty up as high as you can. Obviously, my booty's not getting up that high. 
Here we go. Five. Good. Take both feet to the mat. Inhale, and let's just bring the pelvis up and hold here. Tight glutes, tight, tight, tight glutes. See if you can get a little higher. Maybe even tuck your shoulders underneath your rib cage. See what that does to your bridge. Untuck those shoulders and then reverse down vertebrae by vertebrae. Last thing to touch the floor is the lower back. Good. Take the right leg on top of the left, thread the hands through, and give yourself a little pelvis stretch, hip stretch. I like to kind of rock and roll to the left and right here. You can also press the knee away as you pull the thigh toward you. Keep your legs up in the air. Let the uh, bring your the bottom of your right foot to the floor. So you're getting kind of a tuss. A spinal twist. Lift your right arm up on the diagonal and press your right knee away from your pelvis and your fingertips. You should feel that stretch all along the right side of your torso and the right side of your pelvis. Bring that leg up, uncross, and recross. Here we go with a little hip opener, gentle hip opener. Sweep that, thread the hands through the hole, the loop. Feet are flexed to protect the ankle. And then if you want, you can push the knee away while you pull the side towards your chest. And let the bottom of the left foot come to the side of your body. Then lift the left palm up and push the right, the left knee away with the right hand. And recover and take those legs out and just go ahead and give them a shake. Take the knee, the feet flat on the floor and let the knees fall to the right and to the left. And then let's take a nice big stretch. Inhale. Arms above the head. Exhale, peel the upper body off the floor. Come to sitting. And then inhale, lengthen up and forward and give yourself a little stretch. Release the head down. And roll up. Let's go ahead and come into a wide leg dancer stretch. So we have like a V here. And we're just going to take that right arm up on the inhale. Exhale, slide the left arm down the leg. Look under the right armpit, drop 
the scapula down the back. See if you can try and touch the toes with your right fingertips, but keeping your right hip anchored to the mat. Open up the chest, lifting it towards the ceiling. And then when you're ready, inhale and then exhale, release that right hand down to the floor and let your torso kind of fall over that left leg. Walking the hand slowly back up the center. Inhale, left arm comes up. Exhale, right arm crawls out and down. I'm grabbing this foot and I'm opening the chest while I'm still trying to root the opposite hip down as I reach the fingertips towards the toes. Drop the scapula, flex the feet. Thank you. And when you're ready, inhale, lengthen, exhale. Hands come to either side of the ankle. Torso drapes over the leg. And walking the heels up. Bringing the soles of the feet together. Open up the feet like a book so the pinky sides of the feet are connected. Use the elbows to press the knees down towards the mat. And release. Cross the right leg in front of the left. Sitting nice and easy cross legged position. Take a nice inhale up. We're going to exhale and we're going to bring the torso forward and just release the top of the head down towards the mat. The head down. Take the forehead to the right knee and take the right hand behind you so you can give yourself a little traction and twist. Resting the forehead on the right knee, maintaining the left hip down into the mat. And then switch hands, right hand comes forward, left hand comes back, forehead goes to left knee. Hands come forward and then walk your hands back, uncross the legs, give them a little shake, and recross with the other leg on top or in, in front. Inhale and up, exhale, release forward. Heavy head. Head goes to the left knee. Right hand stays forward, left hand goes back. Left hand comes forward, right hand goes back, forehead goes to right knee. Hands come forward and walk the hands all the way up. All right. Coming down on top of our mats, we're going to inhale, 
we're going to stretch the fingertips away from the toes. We're going to hold the breath. And we're going to squeeze every part of our body. Shoulders, mouth, feet, hips, core, throat. Oh, everything is tight. And then release into the mat. Swallow. Remove the tongue from the roof of the mouth. Stick it out. Say, ah. And find your way into a deep relaxation, Shavasana. And we will honor the work that we have done today. And just surrender to our bodies.
you're welcome to stay in Shavasana. Otherwise, we will close our class today in a seated position with our hands at heart center, bringing ourselves back to the room, to reality, always with gratitude for everything we have around us, the opportunities, the nourishment, the nurturing, but also what we have inside of us and the, the way that the yoga practice empowers us and brings us strength and knowledge, self-discovery, and of course, always grace. The spirit in me salutes the spirit in you. Namaste. Thanks so much for coming. See you next week. Bye, everyone.